In this video, I'm going to be talking about Kittle and the superpowers of Kittle. Now, there's a ton of templates, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing specifically how you can use Kittle on Redbubble. So, I'm on Redbubble right now, and I'm going to upload a new work, and I'm going to try to sell that design on Redbubble. So, let's pick a design here in Kittle to get started. I'm going to scroll on down, and I really like this one here with the kitty. It says, what you meowing about? So, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to click use this design. So my first tip for Redbubble is I would say don't use the design exactly as is. You'd want to make some change to it because if you upload this design as is and someone else uploads the same design as is, then there's going to be two identical designs on Redbubble and Redbubble could give you a strike because you've got an identical design to someone else. So even though you have commercial use on Kittle, it's nice to change it up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the text, I'm going to double click it. And now I'm going to redo the text. I'm going to type in something new. Okay, and I'm going to move this down here like this. Now you can actually align these. If I click on the shift key, if I hold down the shift key and click both, then what I can do is I can move these so that they're exactly aligned, which is kind of nice. There's an align button here over on the right. You can also change the background color, for example, but I'm actually going to remove the background color. So I'm going to change this opacity down to zero. I'm going to just use this now as is. Okay, so the big question now is what size should I save this as? Now for Redbubble, what I typically recommend is 5,000 pixels wide by 7,100 pixels tall. It could be larger, but I would recommend at least that because it covers most of the Redbubble products. So when I go here to download, I'm going to change this width to 5,000 and I'm going to change the height to 7,100. And we'll see here now, it moved it to 7100 because it's a square design. I'm going to change the DPI now to 300. And we'll see it makes it even larger. It says 10,800 by 10,800. I'm going to optimize quality and I'm going to download this now as a PNG. Okay, so now on Redbubble, I've clicked upload new work. And now I can go in here and I can go right here, write meow and I can upload my design. It'll take a little bit of time. Okay, and my design is uploaded and as I scroll on through I can see I've got a PNG file and that's what I recommend for Redbubble is a PNG file because it's transparent. So what that means is if I change the color of my shirt, for example, it's not going to affect the background. The background is the shirt, which is really nice. And as you go through, you can make things as big or as small as you want. Now remember on Redbubble you can also choose a pattern. You can do an offset grid for example and make little polka dots if that's what you wanted to do as well. So for a graphic t-shirt that could look good. As I scroll on down, I'm going to eventually get to water bottle. And for a water bottle, if you wanted more than just a circle, you could actually put in a background as well. You could do that for any of the designs, but on a water bottle you might. So the second tip I've got here is inside of Kittle, you may want to save this as a JPEG file. Now if you do, the background's going to be white. So what I recommend instead is you change the background color, put it back up to 100%, and you can pick whatever color you want. But when you download it, download it now as a JPEG file. So now for the water bottle, I can go edit just the water bottle design and I can replace the image. Now this is key and this is often missed by people that are working in Redbubble. It shows you what the size here ideally should be. It says 3160 by 2180. So you could upload the design as is or you could do 3160 by 2180. So in here, I could change this to 3160 to 3160. So you don't need to have a massively huge design. So I'm actually going to save this design as 3160 by 3160 just so you can see what it looks like in Redbubble. And in Redbubble now, I'm going to replace the image with my 3160 by 3160. We can see there it says JPEG. 3160 by 3160 and it's going to upload into the water bottle and I'm just using water bottle by the way as an example. You could do it for any of the products and now when I click on it we can see there is a background and now I can make this background center vertically, center horizontally and I can click apply changes and we can see now there's a background on the water bottle. So that if you want a background you want to make sure to have JPEG selected. If you don't want to have a background then you'd want to make sure to have PNG selected inside of Kittle. Okay, so my work's getting processed here on Redbubble. I'm happy with the way that looks. I'm going to go back into Kittle, and what you can do now is create what I like to call variants of the designs. So you could go in here now and make the cat, for example, a different color. Maybe we're going to make him an orange cat, for example, and we'll change the background as well to a totally different color. And I'm going to change the text as well. Just by double-clicking it, I can go in now and change the text. Okay, so I've changed it all now. I've got a completely different design, even though all I did was change the text and the color. 
And from here, I can then click the download button again, and I can download this to whatever size I want. I'm actually gonna go back to the 10,800 because that's the largest one. And I'm gonna save this as a JPEG file just to show you how sometimes things can go wrong here. So I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. And now inside Redbubble, a really easy thing if you're working in variants is to click add another design and then just do copy existing work. Don't upload new work, go to copy. What's gonna happen is you're gonna go back into your portfolio and you're gonna simply click on this little gear icon and go copy settings. And when you do that, your original image is gonna pop up, but you can replace all the images. But it'll keep your tags, it'll keep your description, and most importantly, it'll keep the sizes that you've got on your product. So I'm gonna go replace images and I'm gonna click on rescue cat. Okay, so my rescue cat design's now uploaded and we can see it's the same size. See the polka dots came through, the graphic t-shirt, it kept the polka dots from before. Now I do wanna point out, I've got a black background on here, which it looks horrible. So I wanted to show you that as sort of an error. The sticker and magnet now looks okay. Uh, I prefer that it's a circle, but you'll notice everything else has black on it. This is not good. So if you wanted to have a black design, what you can do instead is in Kittle, simply remove the background. Click on the black, go to background color, zero, download the design, same size, PNG. Okay, so I've saved it now in Kittle and I'm gonna replace the image now with Rescue Cat PNG file, which is a transparent background. Okay, and Kitty Cat's uploaded here and we can see now we've got a nice design that has a circular background. And we can see here the graphic t-shirt now has been updated with the polka dot. So it's kept all of my previous settings from the, my last upload, which is really nice. So if you wanna have a black background, what you can do, not for t-shirts, but for the other ones, you can go in and say background color, and you can pick black. So if I pick black as my background color now, I scroll down, we can see a lot of the designs now will have black. The A-line dress is a perfect example. When I make this smaller, center horizontally and vertically apply changes, we can see now the a-line dress is actually black. So you don't need to have black in Kittle as a background. You can simply have it in Redbubble. So between the JPEG and the PNG, and also knowing that you can change the size on any one design. See, if I go into A-line dress and I click edit, it's gonna tell me exactly what the proper dimensions are for this template. It doesn't have to be that size, but if you can get it close, that can be helpful. Kittle is an awesome, awesome tool. I'm gonna to put a link in the video description below, just a heads up. It is an affiliate link, and that just means that if you click on the link and you purchase something, I would receive a small commission. I love Kittle, I use Kittle a lot, and what I really like about Kittle when working in Redbubble is you can have 10 or 20 variants of a design very, very quickly. So if you're wondering, how do some of these shops have 3,000 designs, 4,000 designs? Often 20 or 30 of them could be essentially the same base with a slightly different variant inside and it gives customers a great option to purchase different high quality designs on your Redbubble products, and that is in large part thanks to Kittle and your creative imagination. Here's another video on how you can harness the power of Kittle to help you in your print-on-demand journey.